Hey, it's Steve. One way to think more like an entrepreneur is to realize that time management and productivity does not really depend that heavily on hours worked. The idea that an hour is worth a certain amount of salary or wage, and that if you work more hours, you make more money, that doesn't really s sit well with an entrepreneurial mindset because an entrepreneur knows that not all hours are equal. They don't all create equal results. Um, people who work for hourly rates are often focused as uh, focused on the time they put in because that's what determines their pay. If they're paid a, an hourly rate, then they think if I work more hours, I make more money. But then there isn't necessarily a built-in motivation to become more efficient, to find shortcuts, to find more creative ways of doing things. As an entrepreneur, when you get paid not based on the hours you work, but for the results that you create, the results you create for other people, the results you create in your business, you realize it's not about putting in more hours to be more productive. It's not even necessarily about trying to be more efficient hour by hour. Instead, you might notice that there are certain things you do which give you tremendous amount of leverage. They can create a huge um, increase in your results perhaps hardly take any time at all. So a way to flip this around and think about it a little differently is instead of thinking, how can I throw more hours at a task or how could I work more effectively hour by hour? Instead, think, what are your most productive minutes? Where are the biggest breakthroughs in terms of the minutes that generate the biggest results? What five minutes per week was the best in terms of generating results? And when you think about that, it steers you in a different direction. For instance, if I think about, okay, in a typical day or a week, what are my best five minutes, the most productive ones, the ones that generate the most value? I probably have to say it's the minutes I spend coming up with new ideas, like new ideas for content, uh, coming up with a new idea for a video, coming up with a new idea for a blog post or an article, coming up with a new creative idea that I wanna try out in business. The time spent generating good ideas, which can also include some bad ideas, of course, that is very high leverage time. Because then if I have a really good idea, I can you know, flow it in all kinds of directions and create leverage with it. In five minutes, I can come up with an idea for a new video and hash it out pretty well, and then maybe take another five, 10 minutes to record the video and publish it. But once I have the idea, it's pretty much a done deal that I can go ahead and record it and publish it. So the limiting factor is really just coming up with the interesting idea. Uh, over the course of a year, what are your most interesting minutes? What are the ones that create the most value? Well, I would say for me, it's the minutes spent uh, coming up with an idea for a new course or a new, deep, a new deep dive experience, and maybe the minutes spent working out the design document for that, especially just like the first page or two of typing up notes of the ideas. That is extremely high leverage work. That can be super productive time. Um, that can lead to you know a very um, a very lucrative launch, one that creates a lot of value for people. But it starts with the idea, and if I come up with the idea, the rest of the work tends to flow pretty well from there. And it doesn't necessarily matter how many dozens of hours I put into it afterwards. The leverage all starts with that idea phase of coming up with that that idea that gets the ball rolling. Because once I latch onto the idea, it comes with its own package of motivation. It comes with this spark of inspiration that says, I have to do this. And so even if it's hundreds of hours to get the whole thing created and launched, that spark of coming up with the idea, that I would say um, is, is a, those are among the most valuable minutes of my whole year. Just that, that idea for a new product. Um, and you realize also as an entrepreneur that you can come up uh, with more of those high leverage, short intensity bursts of productivity. And if you can just get like one extra burst of those in the course of a year, that can make up for months of so-so productivity on a week by week or hour by hour basis, because you can get tons and tons of leverage from just like one little tweak, which is easier to do, to try to make, you know, to try to raise the bar 
of 2,000 hours of productivity over the course of a year, let's say you work 50 weeks a year, 40 hours a week, you're putting in 2,000 hours a year. You got to raise the bar of like your average of all those 2,000 hours. That's really difficult to do. Could you get an extra five minutes in the year? That's really awesome. <laughs> it's way, way easier to do. You know, one extra five minute period where you hit that spark just right. Um, that's a whole different way of thinking about time management and productivity. When I was younger, I used to think about trying to squeeze more value out of every hour and push myself to work harder, and I just found it exhausting. And these days, I'm pretty chill about that, and I relax about it. It doesn't matter to me whether I work 60 hours one week or 20 hours a week or 10 hours a week. Um, it, it varies from week to week. But what really matters is what I'm doing to get the results. Where is the high leverage time that makes a big difference? I could take a half hour to do a little bit of work, you know, coming up with an idea and creating a new piece of content and publishing it. That can provide a lot of value for people and it can generate more traffic, uh, maybe more sales as well for my business. But yeah, it's only a little, you know, a little half hour slice out of each day. If I spend the rest of the day goofing off, it doesn't really matter so much because if that half hour is really good, really sharp, the whole rest of the day is like a win. It's a, it's a, it's a thumbs up. I've, I've done something valuable um, that that uh, you know, produces value for my business, for myself, and for other people. That's the real key is you want to focus on those moments of creating value. And I will say after you know, more than 20, some 25 years, more than I guess 26 years now as an entrepreneur, um, it's way, way easier to focus on creating more of those sparks of creating value in short bursts than it is to raise the bar throughout, you know, year after year and keep your, um, you know, try to squeeze more productivity out of every day and systematize that. And in fact, it's kind of tedious <laughs> to focus on that. It's so much more fun and interesting to think about how can I come up with a, you know, a five minute like twist or a 30 minute change in how I do things. Um, how can I really innovate? How can I really uh, create different types of value for people? One little spark, one little idea can create all sorts of ripples, not just for yourself, but for, for other people. And that doesn't have to take a lot of time. So it's just very much easier, I think, and more fulfilling and more rewarding um, and more results-based to think of productivity very differently. Instead of trying to squeeze more value out of 40, 50, 60 hours a week, try to squeeze more value out of five minutes a week or 30 minutes a week. You know, where, is, where are those leverage points? Um, this I found just a huge uh, reframe that has been uh, very, very useful for me. So forget about hours worked and instead think about ways to create value in much less time. What can you do in minutes? How can you make one really awesome five minute breakthrough in productivity this week? You know, how can you engineer an incredible five minutes just once during the week. What would that look like? What would be different about that? I think that can actually create more leverage for you going forward than trying to figure out all the other dozens of hours in the week, getting them, you know, raising the bar on them. Just get one five minute um, serious solid gain during the week. Um, something where you really stretched yourself. You know, the, the five minute choices that you make, those can change the direction of your life. The decision to join a new coaching program takes a few minutes to decide that, boom, your life is off in a new direction. The decision to start your own business, the decision to walk into your boss's office and say, I'm done, I quit, takes a few seconds. That can engineer a whole different path for your life. Um, coming up with a new idea for something you want to launch, deciding in this moment, going to spend the next 30 days writing a book, you know, just making that decision, that five minute thing, you know, where you go through and you create a new spiky, sparky experience, um, that, that can create so much more value in your life. Imagine how you could engineer more of those, those five minute uh, twists and turns and um, real results oriented insights, changes, decisions, and gains that will do, I think, a lot more for you in the long run than trying to squeeze more value out of everything else that's left.